Well, we're getting ready for a very sombre occasion in the Isle of Man here. In just a few weeks' time, it'll be the 50th anniversary of the tragedy that happened at Summerland. Something I remember myself well, just being 13 years of age. Well, uh, UK MP Justin Matters is joining us now. Uh, Ms Matters, you, you've actually brought this up in the House of Commons, which is uh, quite uh, interesting. It caught my attention. Uh, what, what's the reason behind this? What, what, why are you trying to uh, inform people? Because it is, it's one of those secret things, isn't it? Not many people even know about it. Yeah, that's that's right. And I, I didn't know about it either until um, one of my constituents, Heather Lee, came to see me last year and told me about um, the, the, the tragic circumstances uh, in which she lost her, her parents and her sister and um, and then began to look into it a bit more and um, really sort of we, we've talked to some other MPs who have uh, had constituents affected by this and, and it's very clear that there is, um, I think, uh, a lot that, that probably in, in, in terms of the modern context could have been done differently. Yes, it, and, and that's the sort of thing. Our, our Chief Minister is going to make a statement in Timwald uh, next week or so uh, before the event. But um, it, it's something that uh, hasn't, as I said at the beginning, really, hasn't been widely publicised outside the Isle of Man for such a long time. Um, you, you're trying to get what exactly done? A, a debate of some sort in, in the House of Commons? Yeah, um, obviously it's it's not a direct UK government responsibility, um, but uh, clearly a number of UK citizens have, have been profoundly affected by this. In addition to the 50, 50 people who, who were killed, there was there was a, about eight or so who were were seriously injured, and uh, you, you know the, the the trauma of having to go through something like that. Is never going to leave people, and and you know the fiftieth anniversary is is really bringing bringing back those memories. And by modern standards, it, it looks slightly like I mean there was an inquiry into it, but nobody was charged with anything, which is always a bit of a worry, isn't it? Compared when you hear you know the Grenfell and those sort of things, the inquiries that have been going on there. Yeah, I, I think that that if 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 this had happened in in twenty twenty two rather than nineteen seventy three, we we would be talking now about. What um, what kind of inquiry we were going to have, and making sure that the families were properly involved. It, it looked into everything in detail, and clearly there would be, I think, a greater level of, of scrutiny and accountability. Looking looking back at what um, what was said at the time, it's clear that there were multiple fa failings across the board, but no one was actually sort of held responsible or accountable for it. It was a strange thing. It was, it was like the end of World War Two, where people didn't talk about it at, at all for years. Nothing was done here, and only recently, well, I say recently, in in the last uh, ten, fifteen years, there's now memorials in place and that sort of thing. Um, back to your the, your constituent though, um, the, that must be an amazing trauma um, to something to live through that and to deal with it, and presumably at the time didn't get much support. Um, well, times were different then, weren't they? Um, and um, you, you would say it's hard to imagine something like that happening now without uh, a whole range of different actions being taken by the authorities. You, you'd have to hope that uh, there wouldn't be so many uh, multiple failings uh, across a, a wide range of, of sectors and, and uh, authorities. But I suppose Grenfell tells us that that, that isn't always going to be the case. But um, uh, it's... It's quite um, it's quite chilling. Some of the parallels between what happened at Grenfell and Summerland, you know, the use of pretty flammable materials, which really should not have been anywhere near buildings. Frankly, um, and it's difficult to, to to understand how how they ever ever got past in the first place. As they always say, lessons learned after the event, but uh, certainly in the Summerland case, as we said, that no one's. Uh actually being prosecuted with anything as such. Um, before we go then, back to uh, how you're trying to raise this in, in the consciousness of the House of Commons. Uh, have you succeeded in getting some sort of debate? Because I know you, you've tried uh, to get this talked about. Not not yet. We, we're, we're, we're hopeful. We've still got a, a couple of weeks before the summer recess, which was really sort of the point I was making uh, to the leader of the House last week, that um, it, it really would be um, opportune to 
to have this debate before then and before the 50th anniversary. And, and when I looked looked back in the annals of Hansard as to uh, when this had been discussed, um, there, there has been no specific debate on, on the Summerland disaster at all. It's been referenced on a couple of occasions when fire safety issues have been brought up, but there has never been uh, an opportunity for the House to really sort of raise the issues and, and I think express, um, you know, their their concern and uh, and sorrow at what has happened. And I think that, that as we reach the 50th anniversary, that is the right thing to do. And this is it really, isn't it? The 50th is sort of closing the door on, on this for a lot of people. Is your constituent, for instance, coming, going to come over for, the, for this one? I think there's going to be a lot of people coming, making an effort to come back. Well, uh, I, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I haven't talked to them specifically about that. Mm. Um, I think uh, it's oh, it's obviously very, very, very painful to sort of go, go and uh, and revisit these places. But uh, yes, you 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 can you kind of feel that this this is probably going to be the the most significant sort of uh, occasion, really, given it's 50 years, and um, it sounds like certainly from from your end of things, there is uh, a greater willingness to sort of recognise that that there were there were monumental failings here.